Long lay the world in sin and error pining Till he appeared and the soul felt its worst This is one of the most gorgeous Christmas songs that exist, in my opinion. It's O oh Holy Night, and today I've got an easy piano accompaniment to show you. I'll show you all the chords which you can use to do a simple version, and I'll show you a cool arpeggio pattern as well that you can do throughout. Let's jump in. Okay, so first off, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. That'll help you follow along and see where the words line up with the chords. Let's start out with the intro. Here are the chords for that. It's just four measures of C, C major. So that's going to be C, E, and G. This is middle C here. And then in my left hand, I'm going to do a bass note two octaves lower on a C. Now for this tune, you could keep your hands like this. You could even explore doing the whole thing an octave lower with your hands together. It kind of depends on your piano and just what you like to hear. But I'm going to do it um, like this, two octaves apart. And we are in six, eight times. So each one of these measures gets six counts. We're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The easiest accompaniment style here for playing this that'll be true for the verses as well would be to just play the right hand chords on beat one and beat four while holding the left hand bass note. So this would be like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little louder on the ones and a little less accented on the fours and this would be a good time to learn that arpeggio pattern since we're just hanging out on this c major chord so we're going to break the four notes that are being played between your two hands into single notes and we're just going to go low to high and then back down and the bottom note in the left hand just gets held while we go up and down in the right hand. And that conveniently adds up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So just one up and down per measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four times through that would be the intro before the singing starts. So spend some time getting used to that arpeggio, just hanging out on the C. Holding down the sustain pedal definitely helps to smooth it out, though once we get into chord changes, you're gonna have to do little lifts to wipe the slate clean so it doesn't get all muddy. So let's get into the meat of the verses. I think of the verses as having three sections. So here are the chords for the first section of the verse. While we go about learning all the chord changes in the verses, I'm gonna go back to just that simple blocked out chord style. And then at the end, I'll play it through applying the arpeggio to everything. So we start on that C major chord. One, two, three, four four, five, six, that's gonna be oh holy, and then on night. So this is a C over E. I'm coming up to an E bass note with my left hand third finger, and I'm just inverting the right hand chord. So from this, the middle C, that's gonna come up to the treble C. I'm just gonna move my hand up, take over the E and G with my first and second fingers, and use my fifth finger on that higher C. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next we've got this F major chord. It's really convenient, our pinky is already where it needs to be. So we can just step into it, F, A, C, with my left hand second finger hitting that F bass note, and then just back to C for two measures. So the whole line would be, Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining, it is the... Now we are in the second line and we've got another measure of C for night of our dear. So here's our first G7, just coming up to my left hand first finger. And really I just moved my right hand shape, the C, E, G down to B, D and F. You could do the full G7 chord voiced in the right hand, but Really, we want just three notes so that the arpeggio is gonna work. All the chord voicings for this song is just gonna be three notes in the right hand for that. So after that, G7, we're back to C for bird. Three, four, five, six. Another measure of C, four, five, six. 
let's keep going. So the next line starts, it's pretty much the same as the first line was. Long lay the world in sin and error pining. So the only difference is we're going to do a C7 there. And you can just move your hand up and do E, G, and B flat there. You know, alternatively, it might be smoother to go from that F to doing the inversion of the C that we did for the C over E here with the left hand doing the C bass note because then your hand is pretty much where it needs to be for that C7. So take your pick there. That's pretty smooth. Or if it's easier to visualize, you can just jump your hand between those shapes. But then coming into that final line, till he appeared, we've got this E minor, E, G, B, E in the left hand, and the soul. So we've got this B7 here coming down to a B bass note. So the left hand has to move or stretch a little bit from its position. And then we've got D sharp, F sharp, and A. So felt it's worth back to the E minor for two measures. I'm going to slowly sing through that section one more time. And I think for the F to the C to the C7, I am going to do the inversion on the C. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul it's worth. All right, let's learn the next section. Here's the chords for that. The first line here is repeated twice and it's all chords we've already done. We've got that G7 and the C, just back and forth between those two. The thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees oh this part is one of the most moving moments of any song i know it's the lyrics combining with the chord change it's the first time we hear that a minor chord in the song and the melody just, it gives me chills. So we've got that A minor chord. I'm gonna come up here to do it just to get more impact. Speaking of more impact, I like doing octaves here in the left hand. If you can't make the stretch, you can pick the low octave to give it some more power. A, C, E are the notes there. So fall on your knees. So we go to that E minor and I'm gonna come up to the octaves there. Same E minor we did in the last section. Oh, here, so here we've got D, F, A for a D minor. So we're just stepping down that same shape from the E minor. The angel voice says. One more time on that line, mostly just because I like it so much. Fall on your Okay, so we are in the next section here. Here's the chords for that. First two lines here are all chords we have done already. Um, I'm just gonna be playing it more powerful. I'm going back to single notes here, but if you like, you could totally find your way with octaves if it feels right for you to have this be a little bit more climactic. But so we've got, oh no. So here 
here, we're gonna go up to this root position G major chord, just G, B, and D without the seventh. And then for the G over F, you just do that G again while stepping down to an F bass note here. Oh, night divine, oh, night, oh, night divine. So that would be the end of that verse and then we could go on to the next couple of verses which it's just the exact same thing with different words if you like you could get a little bit more dramatic you know maybe you do the first verse with both your hands up here so that it would end with night oh night divine and then when you start the next verse led by the light so it feels like the song is kind of going somewhere so the final step here is to apply that arpeggio to everything and if you've spent some time getting used to it just in that intro on the C you can just start applying it to everything so like for the C over E it's a little different because you would use your second finger just as you work through this keep your wrist up fingers curved everything is nice and relaxed and again you're going to want to use that sustain pedal with a little lift every time the chord changes just a quick lift and then back down and it'll sound great so i'm going to play and sing through the intro and the first verse this time with the arpeggio i'll try to keep it on the slow side if you want to play along and you can also slow down the playback speed using the little settings wheel at the bottom of the video if you want to make it slower to play along but before I do if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this one one other thing I want to mention is if you find it difficult to play the arpeggio and sing at the same time you could totally do the arpeggio in the intro and then when the singing starts switch to the chords Okay, here we go. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and ever pining Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth The thrill of hope, the weary world rejoiced carry on with the remaining verses. Okay, thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.